What's up, guys? I welcome you to my channel, Etcetera Pizza Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yaku. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can create a PayPal account that can send or receive money in Nigeria. So, if you're finding it difficult to open a PayPal account that can send or receive money in Nigeria, this video is the best video for you. All you have to do is to watch this video, watch every step I'm taking in this video, and get your own PayPal account open successfully. Now, in Nigeria, it's very difficult. It is very difficult for a Nigerian to have a PayPal functioning account that can send and receive money. But in this video, I'm going to teach you the trick whereby you can get done without any hassle. So, without wasting much of our time, so let's get this tutorial start started. First, we need to make a new tab. Click on new tab. Now you go to your address bar. You can use any type of uh, browser to get it done. All you have to do is to follow the simple process. So in this case, now I'm going to type www.paypal.com slash ls. Right? I'm going to press enter key on my keyboard. Alright, so when you type the paypal.com slash ls, this is going to happen, uh, this is how it's going to open on your address bar. So the next thing we're going to take is that you can see that we have a PayPal that can send or receive money in, uh, in Nigeria. So now if you look at the personal, we have set send payment, we have get paid. So this is just telling us that this PayPal account, by the time we set it up, we're going to have a functional PayPal account that can send and receive money. So one of the things you need to get down before you open your PayPal account is your national ID card or national passport or driver's license. This is very much important to create a successful PayPal account. So one other thing you need to take, you need to get down before you create the, you know, you start to create your PayPal account is your functional email address, email address you have not been using on a paper before. So that is another thing. So one last thing you need to get there before you open your PayPal account is your mobile phone number. The phone number that you can easily receive an instant text message. So because at the time you, uh, you, you, you will be required to input some passcode which will be sent to you on your on your phone via by via the PayPal website. All right. So now, without the next thing we have to do in this tutorial is to come down below here to make a to open a business account. Where do we need to open the business account? Is because this account is is, uh, is is liable to receive and send payment to Nigeria, and that is why it is highly recommend you open a a business account. So I'm going to click on business card business account. So the form will pop so up once you. Once the form is pumped for pump so the next thing to do is to start to fill or fill in all the necessary information in the document. So at this point here, this is where you enter your email address. So like I said earlier, it's going to be the email address that has not been used for on paper. So I'm enter my email address. So having done with your email address, the next step to take is to click on continue. Now the next step to take here is to enter your password, which has to do with you need to set your character to what once you put out of your password, you must include number. You must include a capital letter, otherwise you're not going to get a functional paper like that. It's, it's not going to paper. The paper is not going to accept your password. So you need to be sensitive where you are set where you are setting your password. So I'm going to type me my password.
then when you, once you are done with your password and you click on continue so from this point here you will have to fill in your legal name all you have to do you can just type in your your name there make sure you make yourself my name next move to the mega last name right then mega business name if you don't have any business you can just type any type of business you you know so i'm going to uh, but i'm going to type in my business name here okay so let's go down and see the rest of the information Now, at this point here, this is where you need to provide your phone number. And there are some things here you need to take note here, right? So if you are, you are typing your phone number, you make sure that the phone number is, is, is something that is not... For instance, as a Nigerian, you need to start your phone number from the second uh, in the, on, on, on your digit. So I'm going to start my own with 80. Seven four nine zero one eight five three. Then you have to come here and change this this code to Nigeria. You have to change this to Nigeria. Seven four nine zero one eight five three. Go. So that's been accept. Then at this point here, you need to type in your address. So then address line two. Not that necessary. City Lagos. Here, Lagos. Okay, so we can scroll down and continue with our form here. Then the poster code you can just click, click a new bar and look for Lagos poster code. Can I use any one of these? This is the. Uh, Let's use this. So. One zero 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 zero. Let me zero. Check. Four zero then. One. So Let's use this. Okay. Then. Your currency should always be US dollar. Okay, so we can cross check and see if eventually we made any mistake. So at this moment, there was no any mistake. Just make sure that you fill in every detail that regards to your information. Then, once you are done, make sure you click on this agree and to I continue. Then, you click on agree and continue. So from this point here, you will be asked to type to enter your business type. So all you have to do is to click on this place and select the type of your business. So individual slash show proprietorship. So that's personal business. Then the product type. So you can type in the service you are providing. So my own is uh, let's see if we're going to have graphic design
grab bits. Anyway, if you don't have, okay, there is photo, commercial photographic, other graphic. Okay, no. Okay, check this. This is what I'm going to use. Commercial, something like this. I'm going to use commercial photography, hard and graphics. That's what I'm going to select. Then, business URL is not necessary. Then click on continue. Now, this is where you set your data parts. So, my data parts. Come here, you make sure you change this place to Nigeria. Okay, so you can see Nigeria here. This Nigeria. Then your piece of identification, I'm going to use my national ID. Good. Then this is where you input your ID number, which must be tally with what you have on your uh, piece of identification. So my my number here is uh, eight three six zero. Five seven four seven five two two. So you need to be very sure that everything is correct. Twenty three sixty seven four seven five two two. So I continue. So you can take this place here to justify the address is the same with the business. So it's going to import everything. So once you are done, then you click on submit. Beautiful. Now you have a PayPal account that can send or receive money in Nigeria. You can see from the screen here, the screen here that request or send funds, send an invoice, then come down here, set up a payment. So this is how you open a functional PayPal account that can send and receive payment in Nigeria. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my video, click like, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos like this in, in, about online payment and how to make money online graphic design and so on and so forth so thank you for watching see you soon bye